hello everyone welcome to another beautiful video today i'm taking my food stuffs that i bought for my client in uk i'm taking it to lagos and i'm not going with this time around i'm not getting a private car i'm going with the public transport so so if you want to take a uh, food stuff from any part of the western part to lagos this is how you can go about it without shattering it if you don't want to shatter a cab you want to go on a public transport so i'm going to take through i'm going to get to naco office in lagos here in ibado entering a public transport so if you like this type of content let's ride on my name remains ojola quest space i live in ibado and if you're watching me you've not subscribed please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you these are the stuff i'm taking to lagos so everything so much but i'm going to go with public transport so i'm inside the public transport this is a transit this is a main market so from here i'm going to challenge i'm going to drop it and challenge so let's keep on moving so this is can you see so much i just pray the lord help me to carry them in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I export food items from Nigeria to UK door to door. That is, it means from Nigeria, you get your food stuffs at your doorstep in UK. You don't have to go through any stress of going to make um, clear your goods at the airport. You, everything is just going to be delivered to your house. And... Um, you don't even need to pay anything over there. I pay everything for you in Nigeria. And all you just need to do is just relax and you're going to get your good arrive at your doorstep in 7 to 10 days. That is 7 working days to 10 days. So let's ride on as I take this good to Lagos. show them challenge so i'm at the park i'm not going through the bus i don't want bus i want car because the car might be the bus might be stressful so i'm going with a public car so this is the car i'm entering to lagos so this is ibadan terminal at challenge so i'm going through the cab here so I'm not going with a private car. So if you are taking your good to Nako, you just come to Challenge. From Challenge, I'm going to show you where you're going to get a bus. So let's ride on. Yeah, we're inside the car now. They are carrying 3,000 to Lagos from Hibadon here because it is car. But I'm sure bus is lesser. So if you're going with bus, you can decide if you want bus or you want car. So. This is the new constructed road that is Lagos Ibadan Express Road. It's so fine. You will love it. You will like it. Ah, yes. I can really show now that I'm proud of my country with this new road. So if you're watching my video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. You can leave a comment. Any question you have is signing your shipping business. You just got to Bega and you know Lagos with hold up or go slow. So we just arrived at Bega with go slow and this now makes seats for me to see those vendors selling on the road.
if you have not been taking notice of the boundary between Lagos State and Ogun State, this is the boundary. You can see it. This yes shows this car now is in Lagos, but the other, at the back of the car is Ogun State. So that is just the little space, the boundary between Lagos State when you're coming through Bega. beautiful thing about Lagos is those selling on the old or, or let me say go slow in fact I was so amazed when I saw lots and lots of people vendors selling different things if possible some people will sell building on this road to anything you want to buy to home decoration because this is not like our own in Ibadan but here in Lagos I was just I just like I have to show you guys I have to really show you what you can buy if you are traveling to Lagos. Sometimes you don't even need to get to the shops. You can buy it on the road, but be careful. Pass through the secretarial road, looking to Seven Up, so that uh, we can come out at Seven Up bus stop. That is looking to Ojota due to the fact that the walls hold up at Bega. So we just have to look for a way to maneuver ourselves so that we will not stay so long in the hold up. So that's why we have to pass through Seven Up.
Ola Ikorodu Road in Lagos and we are moving towards Ojota. Then from Ojota we'll be getting to Maryland, Mende and so on and so forth. So I had to just take you guys along the road to see the beauty of Lagos and if you belong you've been to Lagos you can now see that oh this is how Lagos still looks like Lagos is still that perfect place struggling land I'm in Ushudi here, I'm trying to get a bus. I'm in Ushudi, so I'm trying Ushudi Saleh, so I'm trying to get a bus. The load was so much that I couldn't carry it. I moved to where 
um, to get um, narco balls. So because of that, I had to call a cab guy. And the thing was, you know, now it could for show, it could for action. You know, you have to be very, very smart when you're in Lagos. And I just felt I don't want to just give it to anybody to say, okay, they are carrying my load for me. They are helping me to take it to where I'm going to get the boss. And along the line, wanting, 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 something, something happened. So I have to so I have to be very vigilant. So I just had to get a cab and take to take me down to NACO office. Now I'm going to NACO office from there. We went through Antony, from Antony. Then you come through to Oshodi. This is Oshodi, okay? If you don't know Oshodi, okay, this is how Oshodi, okay, looks like now. So fine. This is not how it used to be, but now I like it. So new development. So this is Oshodi in Lagos. And so this Oshodi, we are moving towards, like you're moving towards his solo, but you're not actually going to his solo. You're going to be turning at the right, the first turning by the right so when you turn the first turning by the right, that is you're on your way to Nako office. So this is the road on the way to International Airport. But you're going to get to Nako office before you get to International Airport. Now, going through Oshodi, you don't have to pay a toll fee. Because if actually, we usually pay toll fees. If you're passing through local airport that's you have if you're passing through ikeja and you're entering um local airport then down to international airport you are going to they have a toll gate that you're going to pay but because we are not going through that place we are just passing through should we are not paying for toll gates we are not going to pay so we just drive down to nako office so i'm um, seeing nako office you know you can't just move down to the other side so you have to go to we have to drive down to on that bridge to enter naco office so on entry naco office there are lots of stories that happens there which i can't share so this is inside the naco office we've entered we are trying to move in and get down to business so this is how our journey went through every So finally at NAC office, I'm just offloading the things I brought to NACO. So I have just one sack left to carry. And we're here. This is a full busy place. This place is noisy. We have lots and lots of people. So this is what I bought. I bought these things and um, the guys that is going to ship it, they have to assist me in carrying this thing because like I said, it's just heavy and a lot of things is going to take place. Now, let me into you guys. What happened recently? Someone was trying to export a contraband, in fact, something that is very, very bad. And the person was caught. So they now had to make our exports so strict. They have to now check everything thoroughly before it's not so... Um, it, there was no more stress, but now there's stress. Like this place, I had to sneakily do this video. Look at the way they, they are just piercing all the things I bought here. You can see it. A lot of people now, people are there trying to beg the NDLEA official to please check that's to confirm and check their food uh, items if it's accessible to. He, he has to check it. If he doesn't check it, he's not going to move outside Nigeria. I am my 
coconut oil i want to create it there's a way they create it so you can't just go like this with palm oil from nigeria or coconut oil or any oil you have to create it before it leaves then after the first massage my things now this is another second guy they are all officers and i don't just want to start mentioning names so it too has to go through it again the other one is a sharp object to pierce into all my goods just to confirm if they are safe if i'm not carrying anything that is contraband but this particular man on his own hey this guy was he wants to really check everything in details he does not want to hear the, he actually he asked me what is there and i told him what was there it was like no wait i have to search everything so this guy had to bring out everything one by one search and make sure that okay there was nothing so the really the cost of piercing my gary got bust so we have to repack it there and every other thing was just like he has to see it so that is how <laughs> strict <laughs> checking our things now <laughs> it is over here so if you've not experienced or the first time you are having things like this don't be shocked don't like to be strange to you because we have to be sure people are not taking contrabands down to the countries they are exporting to so they have to the guy, the guy main business because i was thinking it was true checking he had to bring everything out as in how it was like he has to see everything so we start we brought everything because i was even telling him this is what is inside he said no he has to see everything one by one in fact it would be so funny when he saw my <laughs> because i had a um, powder the way the wish i process and when he saw the powder the way the baby thought um you see see him smelling it so maybe he thought uh, it's something different so i told him he's a widow and i'm standing there even everybody has to stand at lat at a lat that this is the madame that owns it so in case of anything they go know who they go everybody's just trying to be safe so he has to check everything down 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 to the last thing that i bought there that day and it wasn't like this before they don't really get so hard like this but this one hey I go say hmm, they are really, 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 really trying to make sure that they are doing their job. And I, I appreciate them for doing their job. I think this is what they are paid for. And what whatever you are paid for, you should do it diligently. I'm not quarreling with them. It's just that um, things has to be done in the proper way. Then the next thing I bought this carton and after they checked the good. Now this is it too. The man that checked the goods is the man that pack it so that uh, no wanting, 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 they now bring something else and had to that box. So he was standing there throughout as we are putting everything, everything they are sashed. This guy had to stand by horse there. We are putting everything. So after we packed everything, this guy stood there that we sealed this thing. <laughs> You know, I never see video waiting happen because this is it. It looks summer because ever since I've been taking food item to knock office, it has never been this strict. So everything was like okay, they start packing. It was just there, looking at because I was thinking like before they would just check and they would move away, they would walk away. But this time around, <laughs> this guy was standing with us trying to see maybe in case because he has checked it so if there's anyone that want to sneak anything into this box he's going to be in his presence i i couldn't just video and show his face but i was just conscious of filming my goods so everything has been packed it was still standing there even we got it and was like ah now wow this job eh this is my really mean business and it's not just for only me everybody in fact if you if you are at naco this period in fact you witness what is really happening it was really noisy it was not the normal way that we used to pack our things and just box it and send it like we used to do this time around <laughs> your goods 
if they are norm in fact before it's uh, my cheaper that usually mean it on my box i said okay this thing has been checked and it will mean it and okay this is it has been cleared and everything is okay but this time around okay police stand for that they stand they wash every details of what we're packing so everybody was there it was more than five guys so you can see everybody was i hope and so for this one pack everybody did they did they monitored my pack so they packed it and um after packing i actually they wanted to use two cartons so i told them no i want one carton to reduce the cost of my shipping so we were able to maximize this particular carton that's why you can see there trying to work some calculation on the carton so after we've arranged everything the man was still there and got um, like normal you can see everybody stand still no moving he was still standing there so they have to they have to sell tape everything in his presence it has to be there when we see so nothing is nothing added and as if that was not enough because he's so strange as if that was not enough and i saw him cutting sack i was like sack waiting with this one what did i wish sack do so or just washing and the next thing i saw him that was the guy that sashed these goods the next thing i saw him was wearing this sack to my box i was like hey what's here happen i was like something something is wrong this time around because they don't do like this after we sell the tape we are good to go but this time around story to yato story don't change so we had to like okay when i saw him wrap it they wear clothes hey <laughs> they wear clothes for carton ah i was like okay let me see what you're going to do with this because even it was not enough this sack was not enough so the next thing i just saw that wow there are some talent in this country some people have great talent it's from this guy I realized that talent and eh, he did everywhere because what i saw was so amazing so shocking to me so this guy so this could you can see <laughs> the other sack they put two sack together and this is the man that checked it can you see that instrument is using to check it so this man at my side they beg him to come and check what he's taking i think this guy has clothes he's taking out only clothes so he has he checked it and he saw it and he's moving so if you want him to check your goods you have to look for him and you know how big the knockwe is, so this guy moves around. So this is my palm oil that is wrapped inside this yellow. So we have to call him, beg him to come and sign. You can see before they don't sign like this. Now this is the man that checked it the first time. If he does not mean it on it, this thing is not going to leave Nigeria. So he's the one that is meaning on it because he realized that he has checked it. And the other man that also checked it the second time before sewing it. If you can see they didn't even allow my shipper to touch anything they are handling everything themselves you can see the box they just brought it they want this man to mean it on it to sign on it but i don't know if he has checked it and um, if he's going to mean it on it but i was just conscious of my own sha so after that this guy starts serious work oh hey i see this serious work not be small this is real business enough so this guy starts sewing this guy has to sew everything so there's nothing like anything is added once this sack is altered or get cut off i'm sure this thing will not live in nigeria so he has to sew everything in fact i have to like ah this guy said my fashion design for go for because the way it is serious so this thing eh, is so like say the, the dress now permanently for this carton you think this carton came with this sack is it was i would say it was a job well done for him because i really admire the way he was sewing it so me too i try and do small vigilante i try and check my goods and see what is also happening so you know is it has come to a point whereby 
when a lot of people are doing things that is bad it does affect and it makes um the workers felt they are not doing their job and they are but it's just that people are still trying to outsmart them and play on their intelligence so this time around they are, want to really do a wash time they want to wash out so this the guy is still doing the business of sewing it so now real business so you can see how busy how everybody is busy packing their goods everywhere is filled up with people night has been see everywhere where in fact this guy swan like say they're not going to hear this thing come up for the cattle and he, it's so fit now imagine my lord he has to take three guys <laughs> that's why i said it was so heavy three guys to carry it now we're going to a weighing session. This is where they weigh your loads for you to know the total kilogram. So this is 57 kg. This is my palm oil and oil beside. And this is my logistics. This is their office at NACO. NACO has office. So that is their own office at NACO office. So it's a registered company that is shipping my goods. Just any logistics. Then I'm doing a shipping of door to door. That is the goods I have in here. I'm taking it down to the doorstep of my customer to in uk so it's a door-to-door -door i'm doing today so what you I say a job well done to me so i'm moving from nako i'm going back to ibadan so you know i told you i didn't come with a private car so this time around, i'm going to do a lot of walking because nako is a very big place before you even walk to the gate wow it's a, a distance to behold so but i know i'll walk it and another thing is the weather has been so favorable no rain it was just cloudy and i it gladdens my heart you know when you have to walk under a cloudy weather so this is nako gate if you are going out you just pass through this small gate if you are going out if you are not if you are going out not for those entry if you're entering nako if you're coming with a car you pass through this place as you drive in but if you're not coming with car you're coming into nako whether you carry load whether you do not carry load this blue roof you pass through that blue roof where the exit is for those of us that is coming out, it's not for those that is entering. If you try to pass it, they will know you are new. And even at that place, I didn't really want to show you a lot of people there. We have the immigration officers there. We have police standing at that gate there, but it's just that. But this particular place, you can also see if you're entering, that is the security and everyone is standing at this. So if you're entering NACO office, you pass. If you're entering NACO through this gate, you have to have your full details of where you are going to and what you want to come and do at NACO office. Inside the NACO office, immediately you come out of the gate, you have where you enter Oshodi Ball. So I'm entering Oshodi to go back to Ibadan. Going back to Ibadan, some... Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 At Oshodi. This is Oshodi, okay. So I'm going to cross the road. The pedestrian bridge, I think, is very far, so a lot of people are really crossing. So, whoo, me too. I had to cross the road, so I had to cross the express road, cross to the other side. If you're getting, if you're going back to Ibadan or Osho State, any part, you cross back to the other side. So, trying to cause this, these cars are coming from. I think it's so low, first stack. They are coming from there. So I want to cross this particular place, but the road is kind of busy. But I have to allow the car to slow down before I can cross. I just want to take you guys down. So these buses, the yellow buses, there, they are going to different places. So I'm entering Beggar. I'm entering Beggar. At Beggar, I'm going to get the bus going to Ibadan. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Thank you so much if you're watching my video to this point. Oh, I appreciate you. 
God bless you. I say, you, you, you are God's gift to me, and the Lord will reward you in the name of Jesus. So thank you so much as we continue on the journey to Ibadan. Yeah, I'm back to Ibadan. So this is Tokate. I just get down from the public transport. I took down to Lagos. So I'm going home. I had a lovely experience. I enjoyed every bit of my journey today. The weather was so cool. No rain. Yeah, yeah. No sun. Everything was perfectly okay for me today because i was actually praying for rain not to fall the rain had been falling i think for the past three days and i was like ha ah, lagos rain i'm afraid of lagos rain but thank god there was no rain today and i enjoy every bit of my journey so let's ride on i'm going on oh. thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget to subscribe like and share my video till i see you in my next video bye Actually, I'm trying to buy my daughter loves um, banana. So I'm trying to buy banana. We have a lot of banana at Sibadon to get. So this banana is going for 200 naira. So I'm trying to get just small for them. Let them eat banana.